You're gonna have to excuse the mess of this room, but I'm getting a puppy! Hi there, welcome to today's video. Today is a video all about me getting a puppy. So stick around, hit the subscribe button, and I will fill you in all about it. This hasn't been a flippant thing. It's been something that has taken a heck of a lot of thought. Basically, I've wanted a dog for about a good 10 years now, and I've been with my husband over 10 years. It's basically been a case of me badgering him for a dog, and I was very open-minded to whether it was a puppy, a rescue dog, or whatever else, basically. I think that's it, but yeah, just with a puppy or a rescue dog, essentially. And I have been trying to find the right breed for years, and it was only in the last few years that we were actually in a better financial position to be able to have a dog. And I, I've spent a good year looking around rescue homes, trying to see if there was one there that I really, really wanted, sort of the breed I was after. I've had Cocker Spaniels before. The family, family dog was a Cocker Spaniel. Uh, we have Ollie, which you've met many a times before, but it just, I got to a point where I was like, I'm sort of fed up of sent, taking him back to mum and dad's. I want my own. And we're actually getting a little puppy. And she is a Shih Tzu Poodle cross. Her, parent, her parents are both cross breeds as well. So they are both uh, Shih Tzu Poodle crosses. And the breeder actually really named her. Um, her name's Winnie, which breeders don't normally do, but the breeder that we've got, basically, um, it's the first time she's ever breeding. I think the last time she said as well, she loved her dog so much that she wanted another one. So she decided to breed her uh, with her daughter's dog. And alas, we have a litter of four puppies. And we've got Winnie, and I love the name Winnie. So I'm gonna show you all the things I've been buying to get ready for a puppy. Now, again, I haven't made this decision lightly. I have had dogs before and I've trained dogs before. So I feel quite confident in getting a puppy. It's just, it's the first one that I'm having on like without my parents so it's quite it's quite exciting quite nerve-wracking but i think um poodles by nature are very intelligent anyway and shih tzus are just cute so and winnie is adorable i'll try and get some footage of her into this video at some point but we'll try i'll try and get some footage of her into this so i'm gonna tell you now what i am buying what i've been buying to get ready for a puppy so let's get to it all right first things first i've picked up a dog bed and i've picked this up from tk maxx it was 16.99 and it's the american kennel club one it's massive in comparison how how big Winnie is. Winnie's like maybe that big at the moment. This is going to be huge but she'll grow into it quite nicely. It's tweedy kind of sort of material on the outside and fluffy in the middle so it should be really good with a little blanket. Some training pads. So obviously I'll need quite a few more than this but this is from the pound shop. So from Poundland and I've picked up two of them for now and I'm probably going to get some more but Actually, pound, the pound, pound lamb was pretty good for dog stuff. I've got some bowls downstairs, which I haven't bought upstairs, but they're little like puppy size ones. So they're perfect for just, for, for starting out essentially. Toys as well. So, cause she's Winnie, I've got her a piglet. Winnie the Pooh has a piglet. So she's got her own little pig. Um, and then I've got her a little uh, teeth and chew toy, which is a bunny rabbit. That was from TK Maxx. And this was actually from eBay and it's a Crufts, um, registered sort of uh, Crufts branded toy and it's dental teether for puppies as well so I thought that would be quite good for her. Let's go back to go back to uh, Poundland, I've got a clicker. I've never trained with a clicker, Nick wants to try training with a clicker so I'm going to leave that to him because I don't feel that confident in doing it but he seems to so we'll let him crack on with that but a clicker that was a pound obviously from Pound Shop. I've got a dog lead, this is going to be too big for her for now but this is the American Kennel Club and again that's from TK Maxx and that was 5 dollars Loads of poo bags. Actually to be fair, poo bags and biscuits seem to live in all my pockets because when I take Ollie for walks seem to be just lined with poo bags and dog biscuits in my pocket so I'm sure it's going to be no different when I get Winnie. So I've picked up some training treats from WAG. Um, these are chicken, beef and lamb. Apparently the WAG are pretty good so I've got those ones. I've also got some real good training treats. Now I'm quite funny about, I've not tried WAG yet 
to be honest. I don't know much about them, so I need to sort of do a little bit of reading. I've just grabbed them for now because my sister's dog, Teddy and Ollie, will have those if, you, if they want them. But um, I'm a bit funny about the contents of dog food, and I always have been. And Ollie has James Well Be Loved, and Winnie's been on the puppy version of James Well Be Loved as well. She's had the turkey and rice and the duck flavour. But I've heard it, don't know if you've heard, there's a brand called Pooch and Mutt. So I've got some bits off them. And these are calm and relaxed, natural grain free little, little treats. Um, they've also sent, these have actually been sent to me, which is really kind of them. The vibe is that it's dog food should be fuel. So health food for dogs. And this is puppy development, wheat free, junk free, mini bone dog treats. So that's exciting. And it's got chicken, mixed herbs, and linseed in it. So, that's nice. A few of these pooch and muck ones. This one's for health and digestion. So I've got a few little treats and bits, so it's going to be great when I'm training her. So I'll have these really good little treats for us. So I've got a load of those. She's going to be so spoiled. Um, <laughs> then from Home Bargains, I think from. Home Bargains is great sometimes. So I've got two kinds of brushes. Obviously the one for Tatty Tails, it says. And this one's just a normal comb, but it's got a brush on the back as well. Uh, again, from Home Bargains, I have also picked up some Mucky Pup shampoo, which seems to be good, so it's mild and gentle. That was maybe about two quid, I think. It's from the My Pets range. I think that's everything so far. Apart from, obviously, like I said, there's dog bowls, but I can't be bothered to go downstairs, come back up and show you. So, and then I've got a lead and a collar from uh, Wilco's, and this is, this was three pounds for the lead and the collar. Now, bearing in mind, I won't be able to take her outside until she's had her 12 week injection, but I wanted her to have a collar. So I've got her a little collar. <laughs> it's tiny and I've already had, that's my telephone number. Let's not have to show that side. Um, and it's got a tiny little, I don't know if it'll even pick it up on the camera. Yeah, it says Winnie on it. So we've got Winnie's little collar, <laughs> collar and um, little tie there and there's her little lead. And I've got one from Pet Jam that's coming for when she's a little bit older, but that's fine for now. And then I'm gonna be looking at different food that I can give her. So I'm liking the idea of James Webber Love, but I'm a big fan of this from what I'm hearing about Pooch and Mutt. I actually cannot wait. I keep getting sent pictures from the breeder. We come back from Chamonix, then we're going to pick her up. I don't think I've actually been as excited about anything, but the thing I must stress is that I haven't just thought, yeah, I'm gonna get a puppy. The reason we've got a puppy is because basically I've got the time to train him. And I've also, I did look at the idea of a rescue dog. And whilst most rescue dogs are fine natured and they just need a new home, I, a lot of them will have some issues that will need training out of them and whilst I know you obviously training a puppy etc with a rescue dog it's a little bit different and I would prefer to be the 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 influence in a dog from the get-go rather than part way down the line especially if me and Nick want to start having a family so that's where I'm at with it and you know I probably could have got a rescue dog and made it a very happy happy dog but I couldn't find one with the right kind of breed that was after and whenever I did find one that was the right kind of breed they'd go in a heartbeat and it was really hard so I spent a good few years dealing with that before we settled on Winnie so hopefully you'll enjoy this kind of semi-series I'm doing, side series that I'm going to do and it's all about puppies and dog training and introducing your dogs to other dogs and basically I'll do a video of when Winnie arrives and I hope you really like it and make sure you're getting, um, getting all the uh, updates about Winnie and about training your dog and hopefully I'll meet some fellow dog dog friendly people on here doing doing something similar so um i hope you've enjoyed this video hopefully you'll enjoy seeing winnie as she arrives and seeing all the updates so make sure you check out my instagram twitter and obviously the youtube channel uh for more updates or pup dates oh dear i can't believe i just said that so yeah pup dates thanks for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button and i will catch up with you soon with some more pup dates <laughs>